Hey everyone, everything's fun in the golden yellow sun. Yes, indeed. And welcome back to this week's session of Wednesday Wisdom. Uh, a lot has changed. Firstly, the backdrop yet again. So in terms of summer vacation, I am on a roll. Secondly, some certain physical aspects have changed. If you have observed them, then do comment them down below. I would love to see your observations on what has changed. Uh, the biggest observation of all, though, would be the recurring theme of change. The topic for this week is change is the only constant. You know, there's this quote that says, you can't step into the same river twice. How wise. Everything around us is always changing, whether it's in our own life, whether it's for the people we know, for the people we don't know. It could even be something that's, that's inanimate, that doesn't talk, it doesn't move. But even that changes like the river. Everything's changing. And while we may not always want it to change, it's not something that we can control. You know, in those moments when like everything is going perfectly, things could not get any better. And honestly, you don't even want them to. You just want them to stay the same way. You want it. You don't care if life's monotonous. Everything's perfect. Everything's happy. You're happy. You don't want things to change. That's when things change. What about when things are going horribly? You know, the exact opposite situation. You've hit rock bottom. Life is getting tedious and boring and you are wishing for change to come sooner than later. In both scenarios, you want something to change or not to change. But in both scenarios, the one thing that stays the same is that you can't control change. Change will come in its own way, at its own pace, whether you want it to or not. And it's not something that you can control. I know that frustrates a lot of people, especially if you're a control freak like myself. You know, I have had to spend a good few months, maybe a year, two years, at trying to accept and understand that not everything is under my control especially in situation where change, when change occurs, you're trying to look for the things that you can control, right? That would be the smart thing to do. But what do we as humans, as natural, you know, it's our instinct. What do we look at? The things that we can't control. We're focusing on the things that are beyond our control, the things that we cannot change, the things that we cannot influence anymore. And when we focus on that, what happens is that all these negative emotions around us start to build and intensify. And that is the last thing you need when change occurs. So what can we do? How can we use change whenever it comes, however it comes? How can we use that change to help us rather than hurt us? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be looking at in this video. So to start off, let's look at how can we focus on dropping the fact, on accepting the fact that change is beyond our control? Well, first things first, take a deep breath. And whatever situation you're in, what you need to do at first is to calm yourself down. Because when all your emotions are swarming all around the place, whether they're good or bad, you can never think properly. You can never make a smart decision. Emotional decisions aren't always the smartest ones because when you're taking an emotional decision, you don't always think of every single thing. You don't think it through. That's why, you know, when you argue with someone, you say certain things that you don't mean because when you're fighting, you don't think. You just let all that negative emotion swarm you and you let it all out. So when in a situation where something has happened, something has changed, perhaps not in your favor, the first thing you're gonna do is set all those emotions aside and you're gonna take a nice deep breath. You're gonna calm yourself down and you're gonna think logically. What helps me to think logically when, you know, I'm in an emotional situation, but I'm not supposed to make an emotional decision. I like to think that I'm giving advice to someone else. I love to give advice. And frankly, people love getting advice from me. That's why whenever someone's in a certain situation, they come to me. But I find it really hard to give myself advice or I find it really hard to follow my own advice. So I like to think that I'm giving someone else advice, like I'm talking to a third person. That way, I think better. I think logically and all emotion comes to a standstill. That's the first step. Second step, the thing that you must always remember, it's your values, it's your goals, it's the person who you were, 
the person who you are and the person who you are fighting to be. Because that always helps. Whenever you feel lost, right? Like, I'll give, oh, I love this example. Let's just imagine that it's like a really stormy day, right? And there's this tree, two trees. One of them is a little bit weaker. It's uprooted, you know, like its, its roots aren't that strong. And in the storm, just a prediction, what do you think is gonna happen? It's most likely gonna fall. In comparison to this other tree that's been standing forever, it has nice thick roots. Even in a crazy storm, it has more chances of surviving and standing stronger than the other weaker tree. That is how it's an analogy for how we are in terms of our morals. Our morals are our roots. So in a situation, a stormy situation, when things change, if we are not connected to our roots, our values, our purpose, which is I've, I've emphasized this many times before, then we are going to be uprooted. It is going to disrupt our lives, it being change. Change is going to disrupt our lives and we will not be able to deal with it. However, if you keep in touch with your values, your morals, your purpose, your character, who you are, but also who you want to be, who you are fighting to become, then it's gonna be so much easier for you to take that decision, make that hard short-term sacrifice for that long-term gain, right? And it's going to be easy for you in general. You're not gonna be disrupted as much. And if you are, well, you'll know that whatever is happening is happening for good. You'll be able to accept that easier and that always makes things so much better. And the third tip, the thing that I love to follow the most, the thing that I believe in the most, is that whatever happens, happens for good. It was, it's actually a quote that I, I heard of in Hindi. And it comes from one of my favorite gods, you know, like you do your best and you leave the rest. You leave the rest up to him, you leave the rest up to God. And if you don't believe in God, maybe you believe in fate, in destiny, or just plain acceptance in yourself. You can't control everything. And maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe you're not supposed to control everything. And maybe, just maybe, that's okay. You must remember, that whatever you can control, you do it to the best of your abilities. But whatever you can't, well then, you just leave it, accept it, and you move on. Because whatever happens, happens for good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. And remember, change is frequent. It's not something that comes once and then just goes and never comes again. It's frequent. And feeling uprooted, feeling disrupted, any and every time change comes is actually pretty normal because we're human beings. We're allowed to feel, right? So to feel disrupted, to feel all those crazy emotions all around the place, it's normal when change occurs. So in situations as such, you can always save this video and come back to it when you forget what you have to do, how you're supposed to use change. Because all the tips that I mentioned today, just three tips, simple tips, they will all help you to become a better person and to use change rather than, you know, let change hurt you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. And don't forget, what observations have you made in this video? What has changed from the previous Wednesday Wisdoms? All right then, I'll see you later. Bye.